Okay, so as you can see, I've done a lot of work off camera just to kind of uh, shorten my video down for you so you're not sitting here watching me kind of process through. But I gave some thought and I, and I kind of jotted down off to the side some of the things that I wanted to get onto my graffiti summary, um, things that I wanted to highlight for that particular thing. So um, I chose, I have World War II written in my graffiti letters. That's the only graffiti lettering you have to do is your main subject area because then that draws attention to that subject area, okay? Then you can actually just print neatly using very neat handwriting and correct spelling um, your facts. So I put like Axis powers versus the allies because those were the two groups of countries that were um, fighting each other during World War II. USA was one of the ally countries. Uh, president Roosevelt was the president of the United States during that time. Six million Jewish people killed in the Holocaust um, during World War II. Uh, Nazi Germany's ruled by Hitler. Um, 64, people, 64 million people died um, in World War II, which is more than the, con the country of England. Um, itself. So, and then it lasted from 1939 to 1945. I might have added um, that the United States entered the war in 1941 when uh, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. So that might have been another fact that I could have put on here. So once I had all of my, um, my facts on there, my graffiti lettering done, a couple of pictures that kind of just add and make, it just makes it look more interesting if you add a couple of pictures like my flag and my plane. Um, I probably can do like the world globe here because it's World War II. Um, add those things in. Once you have that drawn very neatly, everything looks good. Then you're going to outline everything with a Sharpie, make it show up good. Then you take your eraser um, and you're going to erase all the pencil lines. Now here's your choice. Once you have it drawn, outlined, erased, then you can choose how to add the color. You can use either just color pencils, okay? And you're gonna do blending of color, you're gonna do things nice and bright, um, really make that show up using color pencils, or if you prefer, you can use paint. Um, if you really like to paint and you wanna kinda of get in some extra practice painting, you can use paint for this project. Or, third choice, you can use some areas for paint. So like maybe I want to do my graffiti lettering because I like the way that tie-dye looks with the watercolor. I can do my graffiti lettering with the paint, but then I can use the color pencils for my tinier details. Like I might color in this section here, this flag with, with the uh, Nazi Germany information. I might color in my United States flag with that. And I can just use my colored pencils to color in the smaller details. So how you color it in, I'm gonna leave up to you, your choice, either one is okay, or co combine the two ideas together, that's okay as well. But you need to have color throughout your, your poster. Um, you don't have to color in the very background unless there's things in the background, as long as you have enough color in the other objects so it doesn't look like a really white piece of paper with not a lot happening on it. Okay, so finish the drawing, at least five facts about whatever that subject is, whether it's fractions or geometry or whatever it is. You can choose whatever you want. Science, you can choose something out of your science class that you wanna highlight. Um, and then you're going to do five facts, fill your space, make sure whatever subject is is in graffiti lettering, draw it, outline it, erase, and then add your color however you choose to add color. Neatness always counts. Craftsmanship is neatness and how, um, how well you've done and put everything down on that, okay? So creativity, craftsmanship, and then all of those other things that I talked about. There's a lot to this project. It's not just a whip it out in 10 minutes project. This is a several days project. So make sure you spend the time thinking through all of your um, plans and uh, your, your requirements for this project. Okay, all right, third project in our lettering unit, um, graffiti summary. Good luck, have fun.